Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a plan with me in my wellness monthly spread for March. I use this spread to track my steps, any workouts or activity I might do, sleep, and then my weight. I've really been trying to focus on my weight during my pregnancy um, so I don't gain too much too fast. I've been having a lot of issues this time around so I've been keeping a track on that. Anyways, um, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. If you could consider subscribing and liking this video, that would be awesome if you haven't already. And without further ado, we're going to get started on this spread. I chose pressed florals. I thought it would be perfect for the beginning of spring. And I've picked a few stickers already. This one's going to be pretty simple. Um... Like I said, I just use it to track, track stats on every day, so I can't do too much decoration throughout the page. I want to keep it kind of open, but just to add some decor, um, I pulled these, but I might use bigger boxes now, just so I can have some extra color throughout the page. So, get started. Pulled these. I really like these colors. I originally. Excuse me. I had originally chosen this sticker book to use for my, um, what do you call it? My catch all monthly because that one I do more decoration in. I don't have to write every single day. So I had pulled these extra boxes in case I was going to use it for that, but I went in a different direction with my monthly for, um, my catch-all planner. So I'm using it for this. I haven't switched out any of my stickers yet. So we're going to go back in the book and see what else we can find. For now I'm going to add these on this side and I'm definitely going to have to add some more green on the other side of the page. Let's try and place that down kind of straight. Okay. And then I want to put this darling your different quote right here. I think it'll fit pretty good. I'm just going to have to white out these lines. I'm back. I have my lines whited out and now I am ready to place this big sticker down in this corner. I'm going to try and bring it over to this side a little more. Just so. I have room to write on the 31st. Let's see how that looks. Oh, my G's going off the page. Let's see how well this is going to pull up, y'all. Oh, it's taking off some of my white out. <laughs> Took out like my white out. Hopefully that doesn't look too bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, see, that's a lot better. Okay. Okay, we got a cute start to the spread. I'm going to pull out this book and we're going to add some florals around the page. Also going to pull some different colored stickers to put around as well. That green, I needed more over here, so we'll put this one on St. Patrick's Day since that's a green day. Okay. There's no purple in here, but I can always add a flower over it. How about we do... We'll put that over here for now. Is there blue? We're not going to use any blue. Okay. Purple. Eh. We can do yellow. Yellow. 
Let's do this one. You can do this one right here. Got yellow, this pinkish one. I don't have a full box of it. Maybe I can just do like a few stats in the box and then the rest on top. That wouldn't be too bad. We have this red color. We can add this on this side. I don't want it right next to that. Um, I'm going to switch these two out. Like I said, there's like no rhyme or reason to my box placement because every box is going to have the same type of stuff in it the whole month so I'm not too worried about that I'm just going to place them where they look good we have this pink one as well <clears throat> I don't know how I feel about the two different pinks I think I might just leave it how it is. We have a darker one though. Let's save the darker one. Any other? Nope. Okay. We'll add this darker green over here somewhere. Let's do it right here. And we'll do this pink one. Let's do a bigger pink. Then we can start adding some flowers. Let's do this one. I want to do this one on spring. But then I feel like I need a box up there. Hmm. We're going to leave it as it is right now. Okay, flowers. Before we do flowers, actually, I have this washi tape. This has been like my favorite. I don't have any of that pretty polka dot that a lot of people have. So this is the closest thing I have to it. <laughs> so I've been using this a lot. I really like the effect that it gives. So I'm thinking about Putting this in a few places. Let's do it. Up here. We can put some on the top here and put some on the bottom here okay then for this one let's do like right here And then my only dilemma is that I want to skip a line and do it right here, but it has this writing. So I might just try and line some up at the bottom here. Right underneath your different. And put this a little lower where the your different is. All right, cute. Okay, I'm gonna put this away for now. We're gonna figure out some floral action. Okay, so what do we wanna use? I'm not sure. And I wanna use these daisies. We're not using purple really, so 
Let's see. I have this smaller one that doesn't really cover it. Or maybe, no, we'll use the bigger one. put this one down here this one has a red flower but it doesn't have any I don't have any more of that type of flower in the spread so I'm gonna change that up I have a daisy there so I don't want to put another daisy what other flowers do we have I didn't add any purple hmm how about one. Okay. I'll put this daisy right here. Okay. Now I want to take some bigger ones and place them along the top sporadically and place this one on this side just because I don't. I have this big red box on the side. Okay, we're gonna save that. Let's see if there's anywhere we can put this one. Hmm. that down for a second okay we'll just put it up here somewhere okay you can do this yellow one how about right there I have this huge pink one I'm not sure about so this page we have this medium size one we layer this one on top a little bit over here. Um, I'm going to have to trim off some of this white. There's too much white on it. So, let me go around real quick. Just a little rough cut. And cover up that one. Okay. Cute. Okay, what else can I add? I'm gonna add some yellow on this side too. I think it should be like a smaller one. Let's do it like that. What else do we want to add? I feel like I need something else over here. Um, we don't have any purple going on. Maybe. Hmm. One of these little things. I 
across both pages. want to take up too much of the space. Maybe down there? No, we're going to put it at the top somewhere. Where's my exacto knife? Okay. We're just going to put this one right. Here. It's covering up Sunday. I don't know how I feel about that. I've been trying to avoid that this whole time. But. Hmm. Oh well. I'm just going to take this jelly roll and white out the letters that you can see. So it's like they aren't there. And then we just need one more flower right here. I think I'm going to go ahead and put a small red one there. Should I use this size? Yeah. I think that works good. Okay. This tiny piece of red left. Let me see for any headers or anything else that I might want to add. We have these pretty little quotes. Hmm. We have a noted. Oh, what happened there? That's weird. Turn that straight. Put noted right here. Okay. Anything else? Um, boxes. Nope. I think that's going to be all for this spread. Okay. I ended up not using like any of these. This is going to be it for today. Let me know what you think of this spread. Please give my video a thumbs up and consider, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. I thank you so much for watching and I hope y'all have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.